So this is actually really simple and we're going to jump right in. Now, assuming that you haven't imported your audio, I'm just going to show you how to do that. I've already got my video imported here, but let's go ahead and import that audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it from Finder here in Mac. You can do the same thing in Windows. And I'm just going to drag it into our project files there. So we've got that and I can either uh, monitor and clip it here and I would just use the in and out buttons here to clip a section of it that I want usually the first I know that my clip is about 20 seconds so I could do that I could just clip 20 seconds of it or I can drag the entire thing from the timeline here and then I can use shortcut C the cut tool which is also over here the razor tool and I can cut it exactly where I need it and we'll be good to go there. Now, something I like to do is I like to expand all the tracks. This lets me see the audio wave file. Now, one of the next things we're gonna do is we're gonna use an effect that's going to allow this to fade in and fade out. And this is actually really easy. If you go into effects, there are some different audio effects. and we're going to use audio transitions. So we're going to use exponential fade. And we're going to place that at the beginning here. And we're going to place it at the end. This is going to let our audio fade in and out smoothly. And we can just drag and drop that. The next thing I'm going to do in effects is we're going to get a video effect and we're going to get a uh, and we're going to get cross dissolve. Actually, we're not going to get cross dissolve. We're going to get dip to black. We're going to get dip to black and we're going to put that at the beginning and we're going to put that at the end and we're going to make sure that the dip to black lines up with our exponential fade so that as it fades in from the audio, it fades in with the video. So we're going to do that and I'm going to play this back for you guys and you're going to be able to see it. And you can see what a difference that makes. That is just like a movie trailer. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, if I wanted to adjust some things with that, I could go to the audio mixer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to window and I'm going to go to audio track mixer. And let's say you had multiple audio tracks. Let's say you had a voiceover or something. You can mix these down by adjusting the different pieces of audio. So you could do that with track one and pull that down. You could pull down the master track if you felt it was too loud overall. You can do all of those things and it makes a difference in your final output. So that's how you would do that and these are some basic things you can do to add background music to your Adobe Premiere videos. It's not anything complicated at all and as you can see there it's really easy to do. So that is how we do it. In future videos, I'll actually show you audio mixing with uh, something like one of my YouTube videos. I'll take a short clip from that for you guys and we'll actually mix the background audio with a voiceover track. I'll also show you how to add voiceover tracks to Adobe Premiere Pro in an upcoming tutorial. So make sure you're subscribed and you're staying tuned for that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you still have questions about audio for Adobe Premiere Pro or where you can get royalty-free audio for your YouTube videos. I'm using Audioblocks. You can get that from the description link below. It's 99 bucks a year if you use the 90% off deal that I have for you. So that is tremendous and I would definitely take advantage of that. Unlike other stock audio, um, you can actually use these indefinitely and as many projects as you want and even paid projects for your clients. So I highly recommend that. You know a lot of other people are using them. I am as well. So definitely jump on board with that if audio is something that you're struggling with with copyrights and music for your YouTube videos. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget, create something awesome today.